The painting of the blue line the week before the New York City Marathon. On race day, tens of thousands will follow this blue line from the start in Staten Island to the finish in Central Park. Now a look back at a great New York City Marathon moment. Sunday, November 6, 1994. Race day arrives cloudy with a little rain in the forecast. New York City policemen and firemen form a human shield to hold back the mass of runners from the elite competitors and Mayor Giuliani greets the front line. Except for the elite out front, the pace over the Verrazano is somewhat of a function of where you started in the pack. The bridge is the largest hill on the entire marathon course, and it will be several miles before the crowds are thin enough for the average runner to get into his or her proper pace. But the leaders hit it hard from the gun. About 12 miles of the race is in Brooklyn, mostly flat and mostly on 4th Avenue. Coming into Manhattan on the 59th Street Bridge, all the pre-race favorites are in the lead pack. With about a half a mile to go on Central Park South, number 10, Herman Silva, runs shoulder to shoulder with Mexican training partner Benjamin Paredes. Several years later, Herman Silva reflects back on those final yards. I was already very um, secure and relaxed because I knew I was faster than him uh, in, this, in, any, in the sprint and, and I was stronger, so I was not worried at all. Suddenly, Silva follows a TV truck off the course. Paredes seizes the moment and shifts into high gear. Silva realizes his mistake, and now the question, can he catch Paredes in the half mile to the finish line? The only time I worry a lot was when I took a wrong way because I didn't know how long it still was to, how long it still was to, to finish. Especially in that point of the race, that is almost the end, you, you, you have to, it's important to know uh, uh, who is stronger than who, uh, if, especially if you are running with some, uh, a partner. Eh? So I really was focused and I, as I thought the day before, that I was going to win. And I have never done before that I can say, hey, tomorrow I'm going to win because people will think, yes, you are a liar. Eh? I was lucky because it still was a, a little bit long way, like a kilo, half, half mile. And that was enough for me to catch Benjamin. With 300 yards to go, Silva catches and passes Paredes. Somehow he is able to accelerate and gain a few yards on the game of Paredes. The 1994 New York City Marathon champion, Herman Silva, across in 2.11.21 with Paredes two seconds back. On that cool November Sunday, many runners recorded their personal fastest times, and word of the Mexican 1-2 finish reached the crowd. For Herman Silva, a wrong turn, a great finishing kick, and a laurel wreath. A great New York City Marathon moment.